bull dow jones and nasdaq trading bring a little drop now what to expect which position we should take in order to profit whether it is going to continue with the crash or it is going to reverse from here we will see with the help of charts and indicators missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profits and do press the bell icon the next update on dow jones and nasdaq will be released before the us cash session so do watch that also let's start first we'll look into us 100 and then followed with dow jones do watch in the end listen to it carefully note down the levels now look at the early charts here let's start on the early chart, see it is seen the bottom there and also look at here it is giving you higher lows higher highs on the early charts i'll wait for it to break past 11600 levels and yes once it draws below 11600 certainly you can take a sell position for 11500 directly and below that it may show you very good drop so sell at 11600 that is clear but at the same time look at the near term charts if you find it is precisely reverse from the highs of the channel the bottom of this channel appears to be at 11500 very good support lies there sell at 11600 uh, 11600 yes you can wait for it to break past and certainly can take a good sell entry there and yes you can also see the highs of this channel now situated at around 11700 level so that is a good buying point beyond which you can expect that it may rise till towards 11750 800 only beyond 11840 it may show you the bullishness there Directional movement is bearish, stochastic looking downwards, the MACD is bearish, the RSI is trading at the bottom and if you look at the 2 hour charts, on the 2 hour charts it appears retracement, after that a good break and this is the first breakout candle probably, couple or more candles can be expected but at the same time, yes if you see it trading above 11700 you can expect it to rise beyond this, you can expect 11750, 800 levels to be seen which is a good resistance beyond that it is going to fly high. Directional movement bearish, stochastic converging for downward move. The MACD is trying to diverge here again but trading with very little divergence. Let's see if it continues to diverge and bear, uh, give you a bearish move. RSI trading flat and if you look at the 3 hour charts, on the 3 hour charts too. Now see another observation here is, it is trying to refrain to break 11600. Once it breaks below 11600, sustains below it certainly. Consider this for a very good bearish move. You can expect 11,550, 500 levels to be seen and below that further more bearishness to be seen. Directional movement again diverging for a bearish move. Stochastic comfortable. MACD is trading in red without any divergence. RSI looking downwards. And if you look at the 4R, now look closely on the 4R charts. Here we had seen a little highs there. Drop, retracement, drop, retracement. And see the retracement lower highs are seen and yes, if it continues to trade in this, it should be taken as a consolidation zone and then a breakout candle should be awaited till the time it trades below above 11,600. Do not consider this as bearish. Below that, certainly more bearishness will be seen. At the same time, 11,600, certainly you can consider that for a good breakout. The direction movement trying to cross over is stochastic comfortable. The MACD is still trading bearish here. The RSI is looking downwards here too. And now look at the daily charts on the daily charts you can find out on the daily charts it is already be considered as a breakout candle and a breakout should be taken seriously it should be taken with care it should not be considered for uh, that only reversal confirmation only consideration for it to buy is 11700 beyond that consider this for a good reversal so what it max can do is form a double bottom and reverse that is the best what it can do else below this zone it is going to break heavily 11 500 400 cannot be denied so see a, a breakout candle can be also equally be considered that if it is given this move certainly it can give you follow-up candles also and then first red candle probably till towards 11 500 then second red candle can also be seen for the day till the time it trades below 11 700 i will not recommend you to buy anything only above 11 700 you can expect 750 800 840 beyond 840 it is going to fly but till the time it trades below 11700 do not buy anything and yes once it draws below 11600 certainly you can take a sell entry for 11550 500 500 is a very good support and then below 500 more bearishness will be followed where you can expect 11 300 200 levels in this week itself so trade accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss now let's have a look at dow jones yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you should join my mentorship by the last batch of this year going to start on 28th of november do not miss this opportunity to be a part of it and equip yourself with the right tools and strategy in order to become a profitable trader reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel description 
reach out to me for more details now look at the early charts on us 30 you can find out after consolidating here at 33500 it has earlier given a breakout for 33800 double top is done now again looking to come back to this zone but 33500 is definitely to be considered for a very good support zone now look at also here it is giving you higher lows the support there at 33600 is also strong you can sell only below 600 but then expect 550 500 levels to be a very good support 500 is definitely a very good support for us 30 till the time it trades above 500 possibility of a reversal like this directional movement is bullish stock i'll stick looking downwards the macd has taken a bearish cross here it is divergent it is looking downwards rsi is flat and if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour, on the two hour charts to see one must no, take a note this is what the earlier consolidation zone it, if it is trying to refrain to break out below 30 uh, 3 500 one should be cautious of this only below this you can expect little more bearishness till the time it trades above this possibility of it to rise but see on the upside you will find 33 700 levels again to be a good resistance only about 33 700 you may find a little up move where you can expect 33 800 levels to be seen and beyond that it will fly directional movement moderately bullish the stock stick is looking downwards the macd is trying to converge crossover the rsi is looking upwards here and if you look at the three r charts on the three r charts so similar is the observation but my point is that this was the earlier consolidation zone a drop and a rise 33 200 33 800 pivot at 33 500 till the time it is above 33 500 do not consider this bearish at all but yes there is a break which can be expected it is trying to consolidate so do not trade for the day in between 33 600 and 700 zone directional movement trying to converge it is bullish stochastic looking downwards the macd is trying to converge this is also in green rsi looking downwards and if you look at the four hour charts similarly on the four hour charts now on the four hour charts see consolidation retracement lower high and now this breakout here so this is indeed a breakout candle but i'll wait for it to break past 33600 which is a very good support below that 33500 should be considered a next support and below that 33400 if it draws below 33400 consider this for a very good break where it may try to trade with a drop complete the journey on the downside 33200 33000 levels to be seen on the downside directional movement is bullish it is trying to converge the stock has to get the highs the macd is trying to converge again rsi looking downwards and if you look at the daily charts on the daily charts you will again observe that after giving lower highs it is trying to trade with a drop and see this is the weekend candle yes once it drops or trades beyond 33800 you should take it for a ride and then it is going to fly high also remember 33700 is going to be a little resistance beyond that certainly you can expect 750800 and if it drops if it rises beyond 33800 it is going to fly high the directional movement is still bullish the stock has is looking upwards the macd has taken a crossover on the daily charts and this crossover should be taken seriously as it is as it is taking at the highs probably it may continue with the bearish momentum from here the rsi is also trading near the to, to the top so sell at 600 buy at 700 in between these 100 points just be observant just be watchful just be careful take your positions accordingly 33500 on the downside very good support below that 33200 33000 levels can be expected below that a further crash till towards 30 to 700 800 zone cannot be denied so take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you